Yo, it's me, Dead Carpet, and this is Dead Carpet Energy Drink Reviews, and it's 10.22 a.m., and it's Saturday, December 3rd, 2022. Anyway, a few days ago I went to Tulsa, and I went to the doctor, and then after that I went to GNC, and they finally had two of the new drinks that I've been waiting for them to get, see what I mean? But um, anyway, today I'm going to be reviewing the new Sour Green Apple Warheads Ghost Energy Drink. So, oh yeah, boys, look at that can. So, oh yeah, 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 oh yeah. Anyway, has a silver top with a silver tab. Bombs the Best Buy date and production code. Best Buy December 2023. So it's still fresh for a while. It's an unlabeled can. Has a little bit of a texture on it though. Especially on the ghost logo, you know, and the ghost. Uh, has a little bit of texture like up in here too. So you know what I mean? But um, anyway, we're on top it says energy, zero sugar, natural caffeine, carn and pure carnitine. Ghost, Warhead, Sour Green Apple, Natural Artificial Flavor, Zero Sugar Per Can, Energy Drink, 16 Fluid Ounces, 473 Milliliters, Legendary Energy, Epic Focus, Zero Sugars, No Artificial Colors, shows like a lightning bolt, a brain, and some sugar in like a water droplet, or I guess like color droplet anyway, Zero Sugar Per Can, Zero Fat Per Can, Zero Artificial Colors, Transparent Label, um, I used to think you could see through the label if you like took it off, you know, with a flashlight or something, you know what I mean, but I guess it just says all the ingredients, you know. But um, anyway, a ghost, 1,000 milligrams carn pure carnitine, 200 milligrams natural caffeine, 150 milligrams alpha GPC 50%, 100 milligrams neural factor, 100% for daily vitamins. But yeah, they were supposed to get this in like October, but I got it like in, on the first day of December, see what I mean? So I got it a little bit late. But I mean, it has SKU and the warning, caution, the sparks only tend for healthy adults 18 years of age or older. You're not consuming if you're sensitive to caffeine or in combination with caffeine or stimulants from other press sources. Too much caffeine may cause nervousness, irritability, sleeplessness, and occasionally rapid heart rate. Not for use by women who are pregnant or nursing or trying to become pregnant. Consult a licensed, a qualified healthcare professional before consuming this product. Not use if you're taking any prescription drug or have any medical condition. Yeah, I forgot to mention, this can is also very similar to their citrus flavor. So you gotta make sure you're getting the right one. This one has like a yellow, like, polka dot pattern too on the side. So that's a little bit different than like the citrus one. So I don't think it had like that yellow dotted pattern. Um, but yeah. Anyway, nutrition facts starting says one can, 16 foot ounce, amount per serving calories 10. Total fat 0 grams, 0 percent. Cholesterol 0 milligrams, 0 percent. Sodium 35 milligrams, 2 percent. Total carbohydrates 2 grams, 1 percent. Total sugar 0 grams, 0 percent. Includes 0 grams added sugar, 0 percent. Protein 0 grams, 0 percent. Vitamin C 90 milligrams, 100 percent. Vitamin B6 1.7 milligrams, 100 percent. Niacin, 16 milligrams, 100%. Vitamin B12, 2.4 micrograms, 100%. Then it has other ingredients, carbonated water, malic acid, natural and artificial flavor, citric acid, carnipure, L-carnitine, L-tartrate, taurine, tartaric acid, sucralose, natural caffeine from coffee bean, sodium benzoate preservative, potassium sorbate preservative, alpha GPC, um, the 50%, azoric acid, neurofactor coffee, which is the Arabica coffee, fruit extract, estrogen, 10 to 1, and 50 to 1, and root extracts, niacinamide, pyridoxal, 5-phosphate, and methacopolinum. Ghost energy amount per can is the blend. It's carn pure L-carnitine L-tartrate, 1,000 milligrams, taurine, 1,000 milligrams, natural caffeine from coffee beans, 200 milligrams, alpha GPC, 150 milligrams, neurofactor, as 100 milligrams, estrogen, root extracts is 25 milligrams, vegan friendly, gluten-free, soy-free, sugar-free, manufactured for ghost beverages, LLC, 5651, South Edmond Street, Las Vegas, Nevada, 89118 USA. The number is 1844-GHOST-88-446-7888. Carnipure Astrogen and Neurofactor logos. Carnipure is a Lonza trademark. Registered in USA, Astrogen New Live Science, USA. Neurofactor is a trademark of VDF Future C Equals Incorporated. Ghost Energy is low in calories. Legends Recycle has a recycling logo. At Ghost Energy, at Ghost Lifestyle, it has a Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube logos. www.ghostlifestyle.com. So yeah, that's pretty much the entire can. Uh, I need to, I need to move right quick because yeah, the sun's shining really bad right now. Okay, anyway, now I'll let you see the can up close right quick. We'll show it off like this first. I'll already show you the top and the bottom. Yeah, the lighting is really bad right now. I'll try to turn my car the other way, but um, yeah, the lighting still is a little bit dark though. 
sour green apple. They had a watermelon warheads one before, but this is their second warheads flavor. Which was like a graffiti pattern in the background too. It has like the Illuminati symbol. Be seen. Focus. The side it says like legends. Legendary and like um yeah, be seen and ghost and stuff. Looks pretty cool. Like the logo, how it's like textured and stuff. Looks pretty cool. Like the little ghost guy. But yeah, that's like three dollars, I guess, okay priced. Um, but um, I think this one might be a GNC exclusive. I'm not really for sure. I think it was at first, but I think it might be coming to other places though. Not really for sure. Um, but yeah, there's SKU in the warning. Nutrition facts. Yeah, but they finally got in some of the G Fuel drinks, but they didn't get their exclusive ones yet. But um, they did have one that I haven't reviewed before, but it's not a GNC exclusive. But I'll be reviewing that in my next review. So stay tuned for that, I guess. Okay, that's pretty much the entire can. So yeah, anyway, now I'm going to show off the can up closer right quick, so hold on a minute. Here's the new Sour Green Apple Warhead's Ghost Energy Drink. Looks very similar to the citrus one, so you gotta make sure you get the right one, you know? Because they're both like green. Actually, this is more like it on my phone. Well, it's more like a, I don't know, like a turquoise green or a teal green. But um, in real life, it's like a dark green, though. Just regular green. Same as like the citrus one. See what I mean? Raised textured logo. The graffiti background, energy ghost, legendary be seen, shows a guy, focus, warheads, ghost be seen, and it has like the Illuminati like all seeing eye, you know. Flaming bolt brain, sugar, water droplet. Transparent label, I used to think that means you could like see through it. I guess this says like all the ingredients, they don't like um have anything hidden, you know. No hidden ingredients, I guess. Because I thought you can just like peel off the labeling, like see through it with like a light or something. That would be interesting, you know. Yeah, nutrition facts, other ingredients, ghost energy blend. Distributor information and stuff. Okay, that's pretty much the entire can. Best Buy, December 2023. Um, so yeah, so now I'm gonna finish my review. So hold on a minute. Okay, I showed off the can up close and I'm gonna shake it up a little bit. Open it, taste it, and give my review for it. So hold on a minute. Okay, open it in artificial color so it's clear. A little bubbly, definitely a little carbonated. Not too carbonated though, see what I mean? I can already smell it. Whoa. Oh yeah, boys. Oh yeah, 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 oh yeah. And yep, green apple is like one of my favorite energy drink flavors. I like the Rockstar Hardcore Apple. Um I used to have be able to get an old can design, but now they have a newer can design, but it's only in like certain parts of the country, but it's not where I live, so that sucks. Um, but it's not discontinued though, so. But it's for me, I guess, but um. Yeah, this smells a lot like the Rockstar Hardcore Apple, if you had that one. Like a candy green apple. It smells similar to another drink I've had before though. I can't remember, there's some other green apple drink that was like this. A little bit like the, yeah, definitely like the Warheads Green Apple Soda. Because um, this is a Warheads Green Apple too, but um. Smells like that, but um, it smells like some other energy drink I've had though. Um. Not the Rockstar, um. Can't remember, it may have been like a C4 or something. Or like a Raise, maybe. Can't remember, but um. 
It definitely has a nice candy green apple scent. Like a green Jolly Rancher, you know? Um, yep. Definitely a strong, sweet, pungent green apple. Um, I have a little bit of that sour smell, but, um... Not really, though. Normally, these sour, like, drinks, though, they're not really sour to me. But, um... The one of the Warhead sodas was sour to me, though. I think it was the lemon one a little bit. And the, um... The, um... can't remember there's another one, though. But, um... Yeah, this one. It smells a little bit sour, though, so you know what I mean? But, I'm um, anyway, now I'm gonna try it, so here goes. Oh, yeah, boys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Ooh, whoa. Whoa. Well, 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 well. Well. The flavor definitely tastes different than how it smells. Yeah, the um, smells definitely more like a candy green apple, but um, the flavor is at first, but then it has a little bit of a natural sort of taste in there, like in the middle of the taste. Because yeah, I definitely taste the candy green apple at first, and then definitely taste in the aftertaste, but um, yeah, in the middle though, I don't know, it tastes a little weird. Definitely had more of a natural, a little bit like a red apple, um, sort of flavor. Um, but still apple though, see what I mean? But um, yeah, definitely tastes a little bit different though than just a full green apple. Has a little bit of that red apple taste in there a little bit. Might be, a, yeah, it's definitely a teeny bit sour, but um, definitely not really too sour, you know? I don't think it's the sourest drink I've had before, see what I mean? Definitely, I think one of those Warhead sodas was definitely sour in this, though. Um, but yeah, it's still tart. Definitely sweet, though, at the same time. But yeah, really good flavor. Um, it's good. I thought this would be probably one of my favorite ghost energy drinks, but um, it's still definitely good, but um, I don't think it's my favorite ghost, though. I think my favorite ghost is still the um, Strawberry Bolicious, but um... I think I like this one about the same as the, um, Watermelon. The Watermelon Warheads one was also really good. But, um, I actually like all the Ghost Orange drinks, but yeah, I think I still think the Strawberry one's still my favorite. The Bubblicious, but, um, this one's still really good, though. So, yeah, it's a cool can design. It's okay price, like, $3 at GNC. It might be a GNC exclusive. I'm not really for sure. I think it was at first, but, um, now I think it might be coming to other places. Not really for sure, though. Um, so yeah, definitely be on the lookout. Um, has a cool can design. Um, this looks, looks very similar to the citrus one, but it's a little bit different though. I think the citrus one was a little bit more yellow than green in this middle part. But, um, this one has these green, like, dot pattern. So, well, yellow dot pattern, but, um, so it is a little bit different than the citrus can. But, um, definitely make sure, you know, you're not getting the citrus can instead of this one. I don't even know if the citrus one might be getting discontinued. I'm not really for sure, but, um... Yeah, this one's good. Um, a little sour, definitely sweet. Has a little bit of that red apple taste in there too, though. A little bit in the middle, but um, still pretty good though. So yeah, definitely try it. I actually really like this, but um, not my favorite green apple energy drink. I still my favorite green apple energy drink is still the Rockstar Hardcore Apple. Sadly, I can't get it in my area anymore, but I think some places still have it though. But um, you know what I mean? Yeah, energy wise though, it lasts about five hours, about six and a half hours of energy. So oh yeah, boys will definitely still get you lit. So oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. It's 200 milligrams of caffeine, it's high in B vitamins, so yeah, definitely get you lit. Um, so yeah, definitely try it. Definitely highly recommend it. <sighs> I was hoping this would be a 10 out of 10, but um, it's not up there though, see what I mean? But still really good, so yeah. I'm gonna give the new sour green apple warheads ghost energy drink a 9 out of 10. So oh yeah, boys, it's lit. So oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10, oh yeah. Good sweet candy apple flavor, definitely maybe 90% green apple, but has a little bit of that red apple taste in there too in the middle. But um, see what I mean? Um, but yeah, orange wise, though, it works really good. Has a cool can sign, it's okay price, so yeah, definitely try it. I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10. It's been out for a little bit, but I might finally just be able to got it. My GNC is like slow on getting their drinks, I guess, right now, but um, um, hopefully, I'll get their other new G Fuel exclusive flavor soon, hopefully. Um, but um, anyway, my next review is going to be the Boys Compound V G Fuel Energy Drink. So, for that review, that one's not a GNC exclusive, but I got it GNC. So, what I mean? So, anyway, yes, sir. My review, sir. More videos. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Peace out. And bye.